Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm here with my Christmas horror haul for December 2019. So Christmas, at least over here in Australia, has come and gone. It is the day after and I've decided to go through what I got for Christmas this year. I got pretty lucky, I did pretty well and I received some pretty cool items so I wanted to show you guys. So. Before we get into that though, I'm just wanting to say I hope everyone out there has had a great and happy and safe Christmas. And yeah, with that being said, I'm just going to get straight into what I got. So, not only did I get some figures, which you would have seen in the thumbnail, really really happy with those, one in particular, which we will get to later on in the video, but also got some movies as well. So, I'll start with those first. Um, these are all Arrow titles and movies that I've been wanting for a while. So, first up is Colobus. This is going to be a upgrade from my DVD copy. And this is a good slasher movie. I've always enjoyed this one and haven't seen it in a while. So I'm looking forward to checking it out by um, watching the Blu-ray from Arrow video. So that's that one. Um, the next one, everyone knows about it, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Really, really happy to get this one. I've been wanting the Arrow Blu-ray of this movie for quite some time now. Definitely a really cheesy and fun 80s horror movie. And I cannot wait to see the 4K scan on this release. Another 4K scan that I'm looking forward to watching is the original Kerry. Now the next two Arrow titles have been ones that I've been wanting for a while. I've never seen either, either of these movies though. Uh, so we have Audition. The crazy thing about this is I own Audition on DVD and I have done so for quite a while. And yeah, still haven't even watched that. So no excuses now. Now that I have the Arrow Blu-ray I'm definitely going to be getting around to this movie pretty soon. And the last one in terms of the movies is The Zero Boys. Another one that I've never seen before, but I've heard pretty good things about it, especially after Arrow released this one on Blu-ray. Sounds right up my alley. It sounds really, really good. So definitely cannot wait to check this one out. So, yeah. It's what I received in terms of movies this year. The Arrow video titles. So now, um, we'll get on to the figurines. Alrighty, so first up for the figurines, um, I'll show the couple of Funko Pops first. Um, we have the Friday the 13th Part 2 Jason, the Sackhead variant. Um, this is a special edition, supposedly, I'm not really too sure how special or limited this particular pop is. It has been around for a while, but glad to have received this one before it gets vaulted and this one is number 611 um, really really cool so what I'm gonna do with all these figurines is I'm going to be uploading separate videos where I unbox everything so stay on the lookout for those um, they'll be scattered over probably the next two to three weeks no doubt um, but yeah this one is Friday the 13th Part 2 Jason Variant Pop Vinyl. Um, the next Pop Vinyl we have here is one that I was really, really happy to receive. And it's the Michael Myers H2O Variant. I'm really liking the fact that Funko Pop are doing a few different variants. Um, the Chucky Variants are crazy right now. There's a lot of those, but it's good to see Michael finally getting some attention in terms of um, the figurine side of things. It's been a while, but yeah, happy to get this one. I like H2O. It's one of my personal favorites within the franchise. And uh, this one looks like it's going to be a pretty cool looking pop once I unbox it. Um, this is another special edition pop vinyl too. Um, and this one is number 831. So, yeah, this will go great with my other Michael Myers pops. I have two other ones. 
And I really hope Funko release all the different versions of Michael. I'd even like a three pack of the trio from Season of the Witch, uh, despite my opinions on that film. I think um, pop vinyls of the Witch, Pumpkin and Skeleton, or the Skull, sorry, would be pretty cool. But um, yeah, this one looks pretty cool. So that's Michael Myers, the H2O variant. Alright, uh, now we'll move on to the meat and potatoes of the figurines. So, first up I got Friday the 13th 2009 remake Jason Voorhees. Been wanting this ever since it came out, so was really really happy to get this one. And, uh... I already know once I unbox it it's going to look absolutely phenomenal because uh, NECA do a great job with these ultimate figures so yeah this one's pretty cool comes with a ton of different accessories including the um, two different heads the one with the hockey mask and the sack so that's really really cool so yeah that is 2009 or remake Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, Ultimate Necker. Alright, and moving on to my two favourite things that I got, by a long shot. So, I got the Mezco Designer Series Michael Myers from Halloween 1978. Now, if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the Freddy Krueger Mezco Designer Series figurine. Um, there he is right there on the shelf just behind me. And I am super, super impressed with this figure line. Um, I think they have absolutely phenomenal detail and they've kind of really nailed the fine line between a cartoony look and a serious look while giving us a ton of detail at the same time. So, yeah, I've been super, super impressed with this line. And um, to get this one in, I am super stoked with that. So, yeah, um, that's that one. I've seen a few unboxing videos and a few reviews on YouTube for this one. And he looks great. So, yeah, this will be an awesome addition into my collection for sure. Okay, and I've kind of saved the best one to last, at least in my opinion. I was shocked when I received this one right here. I had no idea that this one even existed. Now, there's been a couple of previous Michael Myers bubbleheads. I own one of them. And um, this one is definitely my favourite out of the two. So this is the Halloween Michael Myers bobblehead from Royal Bubbles. And I have no idea how readily available this one is. Um, I do know that it's a fairly recent release. It came out in the later part of this year. And uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Now I've already taken him out of the box. But I'm not going to show him within this video. You're going to have to wait for a separate video. Because I have quite a bit to say about it and yeah my review will probably be relatively in depth on this guy. But you can tell from the um, packaging on the outside there on the box that's what the figurine or the bobblehead looks like. So you have the um, Michael Myers 78 Michael right there and of course a replica of that classic scene on the stairs. So really really awesome absolutely stoked to receive this one and yeah this one was a really really awesome surprise alrighty so there you go guys that was my Christmas horror haul for December 2019 let me know in the comments section below if you got any cool horror related or movie related things for Christmas let me know and also let me know what was your favorite thing that I got um, within this update let me know in the comments but yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope everyone had a great and safe Christmas and just had some time either to yourself just to chill out away from the stresses of life and work 
and drama in general or you had some really really good time with friends and family so yeah um, let me know what you guys got up to anyway um, before I get going though I'm just wanting to thank everyone for their ongoing support on my channel and my videos over the past year 2019 I think has been a really really good year here on YouTube especially within the horror community um, you guys know we've had the slashback slasher review series which Joe the Horror Man created at the beginning of the year that's been awesome there's been a lot of new channels and new faces um, pop up this year I've met some really really awesome people which has been great and uh, yeah I will be returning yet again in 2020 now 2020 is a milestone year for me in a few different aspects both off YouTube and on YouTube so I do have a few special videos planned for the course of the year um, next year 2020 um, 2020 will mark basically 20 years of movie collecting for myself so pretty much from the year 2000 or around that time is when I started getting into purchasing movies and collecting movies for my own collection at home so 20 years wow um, where's that time gone and um, 10 years ago next year will also be my 10th anniversary my 10 year anniversary here on YouTube so I started my channel in 2010 so I have been uploading videos for the past 10 years which is kind of crazy when I think about it and once again where is that time gone um, 10 years ago next year is also when I started getting serious into horror collecting and it's where pretty much this collection within this room and that you can see behind me started so yeah a few pretty important milestones in terms of movie collecting for me will be within 2020 so like I said I will be back once again next year and I do have a few special videos planned um, throughout the course of next year just in terms of my milestones that I've just mentioned so yeah that is pretty much it for this Christmas haul video once again let me know what you think of the things that I got this year and also let me know what you got uh, no doubt you guys will be uploading Christmas haul videos which I look forward to checking out Anyway guys, enough rambling on, I'm going to wrap up the video here, but as always I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.